So in this video, I'm going to talk about Solstice 2022 and how it is the ultimate event that will allow you to get prepared for the next season. Solstice has always been something that's fun to play. You can get some rewards. It's a good distraction during the summer. But with the addition of being able to get high stat armor rolls out of it, it's even more rewarding. And if you're preparing for season 18, you need to get in Solstice now. I'm briefly going to go over what Solstice is if you're not familiar with it. If you are, fast forward, use the chapters to go to the other areas within the video to talk about what high stat armor rolls and other things you can do with the event. Solstice is an event that happens every year that allows you basically to go into an area called the EAZ, which is really cool. It's an area where you have to jump between floating islands. Again, there's a ton of verticality, so that's kind of fun. But your objective is to basically kill as many mini bosses as possible. Based on how many mini bosses you kill, you get to a final boss. When you kill the final boss, then you have a time limited period where your fire team can go and open as many packages, as many bosses as you killed and get packages. These packages you can basically open outside of the event using fragments. And the fragments you get from basically playing core activities, you know, things like strikes and gambit, public events, law sectors, things like that. The cool thing about that is you can get some actually useful things for next season. You can get materials, you can get armor and weapons, typically that you're gonna break down for materials, nothing that's usually that valuable. I did a video last year where I did talk about that. And if you have enough packages, yeah, you're going to get some some random rolls that'll be good, and you may get some higher stat armor here and there, but for the most part, it's to get materials. That's what you're doing. And obviously, there are things like titles and triumphs you can get. The other thing you can do is you can fully upgrade your armor, which allows you to get some pretty cool glows on it. And that's one thing people like to do because it's kind of swag. You can show it off from year to year. And since it's time limited, it's kind of like FOMO. So some people like to do it. It's a fun event. It's attraction during the summer. So again, the big goal is to get materials and then to upgrade your armor. And then if you do that across all three characters, that's obviously something you can do and show off that, hey, you have no life. You play Destiny 2. But again, um, it is a fun activity and I like to do it every year. Now, some of the key changes that are happening is there is the event card that's being uh, put in place and that will allow you over time. It kind of simplifies where you can track things. So all the seals, titles, all the upgrades are gonna be up there. That's how you're going to get rewards. And that's something that is, is interesting. I like that they're standardizing. The one thing I don't like is that to get some of the things within the event, you're going to have to basically spend $10 or a thousand bright dust to get it. I mean, I guess Bungie has to make money, so I guess that's not the end of the world. But in this event card, you'll be able to track all the things that you're working on and then over time you'll be able to get seals and then there's a new concept of multi-seal where over time you'll be able to use the different events over the years to basically get a second title that basically shows that you play all the events you'll also be able to guild your title so again there's a lot of cool things they're adding one thing to keep in mind is that it is time limited and so the event ends on august 9th and so you want to finish everything up by then now let's talk about what they added to the activity that really bumps it up a level. Because for higher end players, you know, I get if you're a new player and it's kind of a cool distraction, do it for a little bit, but then it gets boring. And honestly, it's kind of a grind, right? I do like personally grinding it all out, but sometimes I got a question I want to do on three characters. But here's where they've changed things a little bit. So one of the other things you get from this is they have a new activity called Bonfire Bash they've added. And so let's talk about that a little bit. With all the activity within the EAZ, you're going to, when you complete challenges, you're going to get kindling. This kindling allows you to upgrade your armor. In the past, you would basically get a blue set and a purple set and a green set and everything. That That's no longer the case. You're going to get a set of armor and then you're going to use it to go tier one, tier two, and tier three, right? So it kind of works with the upgrade systems that Bungie's already put in place for armor. So as you do that kindling upgrade, it's going to allow you to do your armor glows and things like that. But it's also eventually going to allow you to re-roll for higher stat armor. And so because of that, you want to complete those challenges to allow you to do that. But here's the kicker. So while you're playing those core activities to get your fragments and things like that, you also get something called silver leaves. If you then take those silver leaves and go into the new three player activity bonfire bash, you can transform those into silver ash and like, okay, what's the point there? And again, Bungie, why are you making things so complicated? Well, with the silver ash, 
if you've upgraded your armor all the way, you can then re-roll your armor stats and get up to plus 20 on specific stats. So that's incredible because for people who are players who don't play in game activity, there are limited ways where you can get higher tier armor, which again allows you to get into end tier activity. This is gonna be a super easy way to get those. So again, all you're gonna to need to do is basically you know, finish your challenges, upgrade your armor. Once you upgrade one slot of armor, you're done. So let's say you do your chest piece. All your future armor and your previous armor, all is gonna be tier three. You can then go re-roll them. And so then if you go in and you continue to earn new armor, again, by playing the EAZ, you can then potentially re-roll different pieces of that armor to get those high stat armor pieces that you want. That's a really big change. And the last time I saw kind of an easy way of earning high tier armor, it's probably in season of the splicer. We haven't had one of these in a long time. There are ways to do things where you can get high, but this is probably the easiest way to do it. So again, something that's really gonna be helpful, that's really gonna allow you to get high stat armor and get all the materials and everything you need to get to the next season. Now, the other piece of this is, Obviously, once you get that thing, those challenges, so the, the core when you get into the activity this time is going to be getting those challenges on your event card done as quickly as possible so you can upgrade and, and finish your tiers and your armor. Once you get past that, you're obviously going to want to earn silver leaves so you can turn them into silver ash. My personal opinion is typically the quickest way to do that is heroic public events, if you get the right ones, are actually some of the quickest ways, but... The other way is if you do Lake of Shadows, because again, it doesn't have to be within the playlist. You can just do it straight from the director. If you do Lake of Shadows, if you get yourself or dedicated fire team, you can finish Lake of Shadows in like three or four minutes easily. I mean, it's not that hard. And, and you could just rotate on that. I mean, and that will allow you to get a ton of these silver leaves, which you then will then go into the Bonfire Bash, convert them into Silver Ash, and then you'll be able basically to redo all of your armor sets. So again, you can get higher tier armor sets in all sorts of other activities, but for casual players, this is gonna be the easiest way. And if nothing else, this is a great improvement by Bungie. But again, you need to get in there. You need to do as quickly as possible because there is a time limit, but with a new raid coming out this next season, it's gonna be something that's great. That's going to allow you to be well prepared and reset some of that armor. Maybe you have armor that's like been sitting around, but you need, you tweak, because especially with some of the changes to resilience, and some of the changes to how class abilities, in many cases, can now give you back other things that heal or protect you, again, which was different in the past, you may have the need now to completely reset all of your armor, again, to prepare for that raid, and also to prepare for ARC 3.0 coming in in a few weeks. That's the video, guys. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you, Guardians in the Tower.